Maybe a bit lower pressure. Hmm. We say you want to have a hit force. Aircraft 16 foot, primed and ready for paint. Just doing the inside, just primed it with stick it paint primer. Gonna see how it looks after. Hopefully, it turns out good. All right, primed the bowl already. Got the stick it, stick it primer. Oh yeah, 16 foot aircraft. Strip the flooring out of it. It's aluminum flooring, everything is aluminum. Makes it super light. Gonna give it some paint. Alright. Got the pink and put them on. Got a nice small roller here. Does the job pretty nicely. That's what it looks like when it's primed. That's what it looks like when it's painted. Pretty neat. Alright, got the paint on here. Looking beautiful. Inside out. Nice oil based paint. Way more durable for boats. Looks prettier, nice and smooth as if I spray painted it. Because if you put any random paint, it may have like lines and all that kind of stuff. But um, since this is all aluminum, oil based paint, I'll show you the paint that I have. It's very good for it. Alright. Can't touch inside the boat, so I gotta jump out of it because painted the corners too. But let's see what we got here. Maybe 
Alright, that's a home hardware there. Got this uh, beauty tone Rusco. It's for interior exterior. This is the glass. You wanna you wanna pick up the glass because when you put it in a boat, you gotta watch for the nice shiny finish, right? They even um, they even put the the color match for me there. But what a beauty! I even did the outside trip. She looks pretty inside out. Can't wait to finish this boat though. Keep you guys updated. This is how I do the interior mat. So first you get your lee page, contact cement, heavy duty. Get your wood material. You can either use a manual staple or a electric staple. Get a brush, something to apply it. Apply your glue on, make sure it's on there. Make sure you hit all the corners of the wood. Then you also apply some on to the material. Why is so that they can have good bondage? Then as you can see, I marked out the line with a marker so that I can easily grab it and Grab it and then make sure you line it up perfectly. And slap it on. Just like that. Then you flip it upside down. Give it a good pat down. Make sure you cut your edges, get everything ready, grab your staple gun, hold tight. That's it. I leave these two spots because I'm putting, it's basically a door. So two hinges are going here and here. And that's your final piece. That's how I do the entire boat. Hey okay guys, it's pretty late. It's night time already, but I made it. Finished all the upholstery. Flooring, everything, everything is bolted up. Nice and secure. Just got one, two little touch ups left. Put on my seats and everything. Got new cup holders, I'm gonna put in new ones. All right, keep you guys updated. All right guys, we're out here in a bass competition. Got all the boys ready. Got everything ready in the boat. We're ready to go.